Today, we're exploring an abandoned children's developmental center that was also a nursing home. This location opened up in the 1970s, but closed down in the early 2000s due to patient mistreatment and financial problems. Inside, we'll discover remnants from the past that were left behind to be forgotten about until now. Today, we're inside of an abandoned developmental center, and this place wasn't only a developmental center. It was actually a nursing home as well. So we had elderly patients on the bottom and young children on the top floor. There's a lot of amazing medical equipment left here. We're gonna take you around, explore everything, show you what's left. Let's get into it. So here is just one of the rooms down the hallway. As you can see from the wallpaper, it's got a bunch of stars and stuff on there, you know, more oriented for kids, but it still has the names of who was in this room gonna walk in and show you guys you know how we know this was for kids up here definitely some kids decor I doubt they would hang this in an adult's room but it is kind of sad to know that kids had to live in here and this place the top floor definitely has a really really creepy vibe and we've been hearing stuff uh, since we've been in here so who knows one of the hallways up here this place is a labyrinth of hallways, it's like a maze. Very confusing. This was where the children were up top here. But we looked down and we saw this stuff left out here. And you're not mistaken, this is a syringe here. It still has the cap on there. And there is some, um, looks like there's some vaccines here. This one's actually um, influenza H1N1. If you guys remember the swine flu, this was a vaccine for that. There's multiple here. This one is just a regular flu vaccine. Pretty crazy to see these left here. Now, I know that, I think they said six children died in here from a virus. You know, I wonder if it was from the swine flu, you know, and that's kind of like remnants of, of what happened. But we don't know all the history here. A lot of stuff happened behind closed doors. And this place was really controversial for that. There was a lot of mistreatment here, and eventually that's what led to this place closing down. But just walking through here now, you know, it's very quiet, has a very eerie feeling, and like I mentioned earlier, we were hearing things. You know, I'm very aware of my surroundings, so when I start to hear a bunch of weird noises, and then there's nothing, you know, it makes me wonder, you know, are there any spirits left in this place of those children who died here, or elderly people? What was that? Here's room 214, and I thought this room was a little bit special, has some remnants left over from a past patient, and his name was Robert. As you can see here, it says, welcome to Robert's room, and it's a little unsettling, and he must have been a patient who was in the developmental center at the time. You can actually see there's his hat. Some of his toys, there's even a little picture of him. I'm not going to show it too much. It looks like there was even some bells for him. So he could ring the bells to get some uh, nurse to come in here and help him out. And this was like a note for the nurses. So they knew, you know, how to deal with Robert. So it would make it easier for them and also for him too. It was really interesting to just read this, you know. So much life was here at one point. And we forget that when we explore these abandoned buildings. Here in one of the rooms, they have one of the call buttons. So you can press it for an RN or an aid. And when you do that, I'm sure it would set up a signal right here. This is one of the nurses' stations, and they can come check on their patients. So much left back here, down this nursing station, look, to check someone's blood pressure. It's in like great condition. Actually, it still works. You can still pump it up. It's all this stuff here. This is empty, but look and see all the books, and there's even some medical equipment, you know, just left out. It's almost like they just packed up one day and left. This was something I noticed, you know, right from outside. It has this IV bag. 
Looks like it says uh, sterile water for inhalation. It's pretty weird though, I've never seen one of these just filled up, just hanging. And uh, this was really creepy too, the old original curtain. And this one has some cribs left. And it's always weird to see this, you know, thinking there was kids in here going through, you know, some of the worst things imaginable. And they have to be locked inside a place like this. They couldn't be like normal kids and enjoy their life. Unfortunately, they had to be here. So, you know, I always feel sad when I see stuff like this. So we're just heading down the hallway here on the top floor. Really creepy vibe in this place. And there's a lot of just like beds and chairs left out. Here's one right here. This was an old crib too. So I believe I just found something that's really, truly unique. Something that I've personally never seen before. And it's still, I'm like, what, what even is this? It's a patient bed, I'll show you the inside. And it had zippers on it and it would be fully closed in. I'm not sure what kind of patient this would be for, you know, someone with a disability or a child to keep them more restrained. But very interesting and it's super cool, like I've never really seen this before. We got some instructions. It says, do not leave patient unattended when any panel is unzippered. So this was definitely for a patient's safety so they could have them in here and they didn't need to have someone watching them all the time. I just turned off my light so it was a little bit easier to look inside. We can actually see, you know, this is where the patient would stay. And there's even a lever and you would crank that lever and it would raise up the bed or lower the bed down. There's a lot more to see so let's head out, explore more and find what's left. We're in this room just filled with medical supplies. And this is actually, it used to help someone breathe. You can see the piece right here would go on someone's face. And then you would actually pump this. This thing's brand new in the back, never been opened. Same with a lot of this stuff. Like legit so much stuff is brand new. Never used, never will be. Just got into the tub room here, as you can see. This was the shower section with the curtains. And over here are the bathing tables for patients who couldn't get up. They would use these to bathe them so they could just lay down and stay comfortable. Don't really see these often, especially not just left behind untouched like this. This room was like storage for medical devices, instruments, stuff like this, but there's a lot of equipment in here. And this is what I saw before, this is like a back brace. Looks like for make a child. Maybe someone a little bit bigger. That's crazy, that stuff behind, that's crazy. There's a lot of stuff in here. Like casts and all these things, you know, for these, these patients, they needed this stuff. You know, what would they do without this stuff, you know? Now it's all here. There's even a shoe, a child's shoe is here. It's just really weird to just know what was happening here, you know, what kind of patients were here. And now this is all just scattered and, and left like this. It just doesn't sit right. And look at this. They even got their old computers are still here, not even smashed, untouched. They got clothes. I saw these up here, they have pampers, diapers. You know, it's just so much stuff, so much left over. You know, it just paints a picture of what this place was like. It's 
a big common area room. We're gonna head in here. Looks like there's a lot of medical equipment left. As far as uh, like chairs and stuff go. This old walker. I think this would probably belong downstairs. That's what I think. In the nursing home section with the tennis balls on it. But you never know. There's just so much stuff left here. There's so much mystery surrounding this place. But now we're in this other section. And we got this chair in this long hallway. A very creepy, very eerie feel. Just makes me think about all the people who are here and the kids that were here and where they are now. And you can definitely tell that this section was for children with all the colored pencils and crayons and stuff like that on the wall, this wallpaper. And we came across two more chairs. This one uh, definitely looks like it's for a younger patient. And then this one looks like it would be for like almost like an infant. You can see the feet impressions down there to show you. But just look at like the foam padding, like how small that section was. So makes sense. And we did see the cribs earlier. So there definitely was some toddlers and infants in this place as well. Here we got uh, the tub room, and we're just gonna head in. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of old equipment in this place. So, you know, I'm not really surprised anymore when I walk in. This is kind of shocking to me. Now I'm sure this was attached to certain wheelchairs and stuff like that. It was almost like a platform where they could eat on and, you know, have an area like that, so. This was Justin's. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. And I wonder where Justin is now. I wonder if he's okay. I always think about this stuff when I'm in these places. And I think about the patients and what they went through. And I hope that their experience was a good one. Would they even have this for, for babies? They would hook this in to another chair and then strap them in. This is a giant wheelchair. That's crazy looking. But look. You can see it's a whole plethora of wheelchairs. And they even have like car seats. I think those are car seats. And these are all just left here, left behind. This was something I noticed before when we were walking around here. And this is like a baby's like changing table. You can see. And this is really creepy. It's creepy when it's in an abandoned building. When this thing's in your house, is not creepy, but when it's left here and it's forgotten about, it, it just has a weird vibe to it. This room, I saw this old school wheelchair, but then I saw Rebecca Smith was reading a bunch of this stuff on the ground. It looked like she found a bunch of old patient records. Want yeah. to explain about the one that you just found? Yes, yeah, so there's a bunch of like little cards and it kind of like, you know, we don't really want to show up because it does have compromising patient information. And not only that, it's like really concerning that they have social security numbers on here um, and that they left them here. But a lot of them talk about like, you know, their diagnoses, like how long they stayed here. So I've seen some of the patients that says like they were admitted in 1984. So and written on the bottom, it's like they were here for 6,316 days before they left that they were deceased in 2001. Oh, so they didn't you, leave. Yeah, so they didn't even, well, they they didn't died even leave. Here. It's like some of them would die here, some of them Whew. left. So some of them, you know, it says like, discharged to home in 1997. And this place, when this place opened up in the 70s, so they were here like 14 years after this place opened. Yeah, and other things like too, it's like they give like the diagnosis. So I was like just reading through some of them and it's like, you know, some of them definitely had major depression, Parkinson's, one of them had schizophrenia. Another one was just here for like congestive heart failure. So it was like all kinds of patients, but you know, there were aspects of like mental health here, a hundred percent. Just got downstairs, we're in the nursing home now. And here's a good indicator. You got all these pictures of 
elderly people, and this is where they lived, where they stayed, they got treatment here. So we're gonna take a look around and see what's down here. All right, we are down here at the nursing home in the tub room. This is definitely something I would think that would be in a nursing home. This is an old hydrotherapy tub. And these are some of the same models that uh, the Muse and I see in mental hospitals. And I've never seen one in this color. This color is amazing. It's like a minty green or bluish kind of color. Usually we see them, they're white or tan. But it's the same kind of method here. The patients would use these um, for sore muscles to help their bodies. They would relax in the tub, take baths in here. And I'm sure these helped a lot of people here. This is not like the old school hydrotherapy horror that you would see in the mental hospitals in the 40s and the 30s. And right here you can see it has these little, these little uh, petals. And uh, probably a nurse would help a patient in here, they would press that, and the seat would come up and down. It would slide out here, they would sit in it, and that would help them put them right in the bathtub. So it was super convenient and easy for them to use, and they didn't have to worry about getting hurt, and they can take a bath and, and feel good. We're walking down these hallways here, and this guy has scared us I don't know how many times today. So many. Just a freaking snowman. Um, every time I know better, I look at him and I'm like, okay, I know it's a snowman, but like, it just gets me really bad every single time. Yeah, because you see it in the dark, you don't actually see that it looks like a nice snowman. He looks like a demon. <laughs> snowman. This was the kitchen that produce all the food for this place. It is looking like a horror movie right now, it looks terrifying. Don't worry though. I have my little weapon, a little pan. I'm just making my way through here. It's very creepy, very eerie. There's a lot of weird metal noises from just like the rain that's coming down right now. I saw this old radio. It's a classic. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff just left here. I didn't really clean this place out too well. Here's all the old freezers and stuff. I just liked how creepy it looked in here. I just feel like I'm about to get attacked. <laughs> I thought this looked really creepy. This was the walk-in cooler. Yeah, nothing in there. The floor looks gross, oh my god. And if you're hungry, they got some butter left over, and you can just have like a little snack, a little butter snack. Um, yeah, so it's a good place, a lot of good accommodations. I'm surprised they have the butter, we could be making some cookies or something like that, but really gross. Our way out of this place, the nursing home section is so creepy, it's like we're in a horror movie, I swear guys. There's just wheelchairs everywhere, random wheelchairs. Look, there's more. I saw this was a little creepy in here. Whew, we gotta get out of here. All right, we're gonna end the video right here. We just explore this entire place. Super creepy, this nursing home uh, was like being inside of a horror movie, you know, just wheelchairs everywhere, long hallways, but it was mostly empty. Upstairs was when there was so much left behind and it gave us a chance to look into these patients' lives, which was incredible, and that's why we're here exploring. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, get out and explore more. Peace.